And he's got Leonard Fournette in the backfield on first down. And it's a play fake for Etling. And trying to dump it off. And Fournette caught. To find one of their wide receivers here to get a first down. And they're going to dump it off to Fournette. All green in front of him. Fournette past the 30-yard line. Inside the 20. And he fought a gain of 38 yards. Outstanding job by Danny Etling. He said, you're hot, Leonard Fournette. Nobody is covering you. The person that was responsible dropped that far. At the very worst, 18, maybe 19. Play fake on second down all day for Etling. And it's Colin Jeter fighting for yards. It's unranked. It's going to be very interesting to see what the committee does with them on Tuesday. Play fake for Etling. And the pass on target. Malachi Dupree coaches agree with you so you're not the only one saying that Etling incomplete he's on the sideline now remember missed three games with an ankle injury Etling looking downfield and wide open receiver first down of the 35 Trey has capable wide receivers they can beat man to man on a regular basis just whether or not Etling can deliver it accurately and Etling gonna throw a deep ball and my goodness Dupree is wide open inside the 20 yard line Finally tracked down, but he was wide open in the middle of the field. Mentioned beating man-to-man, -man, one on one. Malachi Dupree delivers on a post and a perfect throw from Danny Etling. Got it up and down. When you're running the ball effectively, it's amazing what it does to the passing game. Look at the effect on the linebackers. All are keying on what's going on in the backfield. You have isolations on the outside pitch and catch for Danny Etling but these are the throws he has to make the big play opportunities he sees Malachi Dupree wide open a power five league with one or zero losses proofs in the pudding you're in the college football playoff Etling dropping it off to Moore now. on second and six they got the fullback JD Moore in again play action Etling's gonna throw it to Moore the pass on target Close to a first down, poised in this game. He's played very well, very accurate, decisive, getting the ball out quick. His game against Ole Miss also. Nope, he's our quarterback. It was never a thought to go to the backup. Play fake again. Etling here being chased, throws it away. He was outside. Now, Arkansas is struggling against the run game. Pump fake for Etling, and not on the same page with the receiver. Incomplete. Can possibly give the ball back with three timeouts left. Etling in the pocket finds Fournette and Fournette is knocked down. Brett talking about that third and 22 where they scored a 44 yard touchdown pass. Play fake for Etling in trouble. Gets rid of the pass to Fournette. There's a flag down and so is Fournette. Instead they throw it out in the flat. That's behind Chark and Chark breaks the tackle. He's ahead of tap. Returned at the end of the first half. They fake it to him here, and Etling throws in traffic. It is knocked away, incomplete. Like he's got 10 for 86 yards. Fournette is in there, but it's a play fake. Etling in trouble, gets tripped up, and pushed out of bounds by Ramsey. And here comes a flag. Boy, I don't know about that. Team was huge. As you saw Geis on that run down the sideline, that was third and two. Here's a dump off pass to Doral. He's going to. But he's all right, or at least appears to be on second and seven. Etling surveying the defense, nothing there. And so he throws it away. Just run a bunch of twists up front. Bringing six, had to get aggressive defensively. Head coach at Ole Miss, he was 10 and 25 there. Play action pass here, Etling rolling out, throws to the sideline, and it's a catch.